remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Fabio Weingarten is the press secretary for President Bolsonaro of Brazil. He recently met with Donald Trump, your president, and Vice President Mike Pence at Mar-a-Lago. They were very chummy. Well, just a few days after he met with Trump and Pence, he tested positive for dun 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 coronavirus. Yeah. Y'all know how they always talk about how easy it is to spread coronavirus? He took a picture with him. Yeah, Fabio. All up on him. You know? You know, like Trump liked to go in and lean in for kisses and hugs and stuff, so you know, you know what time it is. Now, here's the thing. Trump is 72 years old, 72, 73 years old. So this could kill him. This could take him all the way out. This could do it. This coronavirus could do to Trump what Congress could not do or would not do. Take him out. Oh, man. This would be very hard for the nation. It would be very tough to overcome that. How could we replace Trump if coronavirus were to get him? We have to save the president. We got to save him, y'all. I know y'all don't like it, but we got to save the president. What would happen? I mean, what would we do with ourselves if he died? How could we replace him? It's virtually impossible. We haven't had a president with such a high IQ in decades. You know, a guy that's a unifier, you know, a guy that believes in racial harmony, that's going to be hard, man, because this nation has never been so unified. You know, everybody getting along and crime down everywhere and people have a newfound respect for the police because of the way that the police are now conducting themselves because Congress, the politicians are doing their jobs, making sure that cops are being held accountable, the prosecutors, and everybody just working together. Man, it's just going to be hard to, to replace this dude, man. And uh, he's holding the Wall Street crooks uh, accountable. You know, he's making sure that the crooked politicians go to jail and then he's not giving out any free pardons. I mean, he's hard on pardons. I mean, the dude ain't gave out but like one or two pardons, you know, since he's been in office. I mean, he letting those crooks know, no, you will not get special treatment around here. You are not above the law, not around here. Yeah, man. Donald Trump, the new Elliot Ness. Man, how are we going to replace this dude, man? It's going to be tough. It is going to be very, very tough. Trump, now here's the thing, though. Everybody's assuming that Fabio could have possibly given it to Trump. But what if Trump gave it to Fabio? You know, he'd be coughing at. I heard he was sniffling like a, a crackhead the other day, like he hitting that coke or something. They say he was sniffling, doing a lot of sniffling lately and stuff. He says he's not worried about it, though. He says, you know, they asked him about it. He said, I'm not worried about it. That's, that's what he's supposed to say, because if he says he's worried, then everybody else would get worried, and, you know, the nation loses confidence because the nation gets its confidence. You know, well, not the nation, but a lot of people in the nation get their confidence from the president, you know, like, Whatever the president says, uh, you know. So as the president goes, that's the way we go. So if the president is evil and low down and conniving and he's a thief and he's racist and he's selfish, he's narcissistic, then that'll trickle down to the 
less Americans and you know it'll embolden them to show their true colors also remember Trump wasn't always like this well he was always like this but he wasn't always vocal publicly vocal with it right because people will say man well why doesn't rappers why the rappers don't like Trump they ain't have no problem with Trump until he started running for president that's because Trump didn't reveal his true colors until he started running for president See, before he started running for president, he was cool. Yeah, everybody was cool with Trump. You know, it's like they was cool with Trump like they would be cool with anybody who was hiding their true identity. Think about it. You got people out there who have been found out to be rapists, like serial rapists, mass murderers. And what do people almost always say about those people? Well, I, I never would have thought it. I mean, I knew he was quiet. And uh, or they'll say, well, he was so outgoing and, you know, he was a community leader and all the kids loved him. And I just, I just it's, it's just shocking. I just, that's not the Jared I knew. You know, that's not the Jared I grew up with. That's not him. I didn't watch Trump's speech the other night for two reasons. One, I refused to contribute to his ratings. Two, He's very difficult to look at. He has a face only a mother could love. In any event, a few people who did watch it told me that he looked sickly and winded. So much for that democratic hoax. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?